Kanye's Donda 2 is on its way, but there's a catch. Justin Bieber is after social change, Olivia Rodrigo gets personal in a new documentary, and Lizzo is on the hunt for some dancers. All that plus new music and a Mary J. Blige update on today's show. Hey, what's up? I'm Jordan Rowling, and this is Billboard News for Friday, February 18th. Back with us to talk all things music is our senior editor, Lindsay Havens, TGIF girl. Yes, indeed. We made it. We sure did, and there's a lot to break down. Let's get into it. <laughs> a lot's happened this week already, but we've still got more for you. And of course, we're kicking things off with Ye. Ahead of releasing his new album, Donda 2, Kanye West is throwing fans another curveball, announcing on Instagram the LP will be exclusive to the STEM player. He wrote on Instagram, Donda 2 will only be available on my own platform, the STEM player, not on Apple, Amazon, Spotify, or YouTube. Today's artists get just 12% of the money the industry makes. It's time to free music from this oppressive system. It's time to take control and build our own. What the heck is a STEM player, you ask? Lindsay, help us out. <laughs> yes, that is why I'm here. So the STEM player is a puck-shaped gadget. It is $200, a little bit more than a monthly subscription anywhere. Uh, the digital player appears to operate with controls for volume, track selection, built-in speakers, of course, and flashing lights, because it's yay, after yeah, all. Why not? Yeah, why not? So he wrote in a separate post that you can download new music from stemplayer.com. You can play four different elements of the track, which would be vocals, drum, bass, and music. It also has an MP3 player available, so there's a lot happening here. We first saw the stem player with Donda, actually, when Ye released it for people to mess with the stems. That was the intention. So this is sort of the next evolution of mm -hmm. what it can do. So kind of customizing your track. But exactly. obviously, do we think the stem player just didn't do well back then? We think it may be flopped and that this is a way to make up for all the various stem players they have lying around. Yeah. Well, Kanye's obviously gone down this exclusive path before. Uh, can you kind of talk about the past and, and ways that he's done that? Yeah, absolutely. So his seventh studio album back in 2016, The Life of Pablo, was released exclusively through Tidal. And at the time, Kanye was a founding shareholder, so it made a lot of sense. Uh, but then two months after that happened, he released Pablo Wide. It went up to all the streaming services, and people were not too pleased. Yeah, of course. You're get buying a subscription for no reason. Exactly. So. If you're an early adopter, I would just be wary that if you want to go all in on the STEM player, it very well could be available within a few weeks. So are you going to be getting a STEM player? Oh, I will not be. No? <laughs> no, okay. it's not for me. <laughs> well, for those who'd like to nab one, do it quick because Donda 2 is set for release February 22nd, and it will be presented with a special event at Miami's Lone Depot Park Stadium. Justin Bieber is using his platform and his Justice World Tour to support some special causes with what he's calling his Justice in Action initiative. I am not mad about this at all. Lindsay gives the deets. Yes, this is great. So Bieber is kicking off his 90-day global run today in San Diego. And throughout the tour, he's hoping to raise awareness for a variety of things. So he has criminal justice reform, climate action, and voter registration. Obviously, Ariana, who they share a manager in Scooter Braun, she brings headcount on a lot of her tours, so it's not necessarily new. But Bieber is doing a lot to get his fans involved. He partnered with a company, Propeller, which their entire mission is basically activating fans to get involved in their communities, do tasks, accumulate points, which can then enter you for various prizes. Mm. So be that concert tickets or the biggest one, which is a trip to Paris to meet Bieber himself. Okay, I'm trying to go to Paris, wee oui, wee. Oui. Yep. I like really I earn these points. Yeah, I really think that any effort to help out with social justice causes is admirable. But Lindsay, I haven't forgotten about December, him mm -hmm. performing in Saudi Arabia despite these human rights activists begging him not to. Do you think yeah. this is kind of an effort to make up for that? Exactly. I mean, that's one of many things that Bieber has been called out for in the past. And I do really feel like since he's been on this path of, you know, course correction, this is maybe the splashiest thing that he's done, the most front facing in the fans face and so it really is him making a statement that look i'm working on myself and i want everyone else to do better too okay well we appreciate it for a list of justice in action participating organizations head to billboard.com coming up we're talking new music plus running down the most talked about songs on twitter don't go anywhere it's time to check in on our hot trending songs chart powered by Twitter to see which songs are making the most buzz on social media, including the newest releases of the week. Here's our girl Chelsea Briggs with the update. As we continue watching the brand new Billboard hot trending songs chart powered by Twitter, in today's current 24 hour chart, here's the latest new additions. Released one week ago, BTS's Suga and Jungkook's new ballad, Stay Alive, has had major success on the chart, currently sitting at number two with over 300,000 mentions. Taeyeon's INVU has had a presence on the chart since its release on Valentine's Day, hovering in the top ten. So I am 
The K-pop singer also released her third solo album today, and we anticipate we could see more songs off the project making moves in the coming weeks. Other new releases out today include you ain't one of my dogs, why do you hound us? Jack Harlow drops his newest song and video for Nail Tech. King's back in his hometown when them wheels hit and I touch down, Nate. Dynamic duo Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack that make up Silk Sonic bless us with their con funk shung cover of Love's Train. J Balvin has officially dropped his newest single, Nino Soñador. And finally, Kid Cudi releases his collaboration with Nigo, Want It Bad. Love, I want it bad. Yeah. Billboard Hot Trending Songs provides real-time rankings of the most discussed songs on Twitter globally and captures conversations over the last 24 hours or past seven days. For all the latest in charts, head to Billboard.com and Billboard's Twitter. For Billboard News, I'm Chelsea Briggs. Okay, which is your favorite song? I'm really into the Jack Harlow song, Nail Tech. Okay, I like Jack Harlow, but mm -hmm. I am an R&B head, so I gotta go with Silk Sonic. They never disappoint. No, so consistent, they will never let you down. <laughs> this week, Olivia Rodrigo announced a new project that maps out her road to success, a documentary project titled Olivia Rodrigo, Driving Home to You, a sour film. Here's a quick teaser. Coming from this place of hurt and you manage to turn it into something that you're proud of, there's like, Nothing better. Okay, Lindsay, I can't lie. At first, it took me a minute to get mm -hmm. into the Olivia train because it, it all happened so suddenly right. through TikTok. But Sour was a great project, and she seems like a genuine human. I'm really, really looking forward to this doc. Absolutely. She cemented her success really quickly, for as quickly as it did take off. You're totally right. And this is sort of the next step in that evolution. So she just signed new management. That doubles as, you know, TV and, TV and film division as well. And we're now seeing that in this documentary. So it's out on March 25th on Disney+. Plus. People have long been comparing her to Taylor Swift. Taylor famously released the Long Pond Sessions on Disney Plus as well, so this is a new parallel. Uh, the film will take us on a road trip of sorts from Salt Lake City to LA and show her recording the film, or recording the album, actually in the garage, laying down the tracks, and showing everything that it takes to record a massive debut for the first time. Wow. Shout out to Salt Lake City, by the way. I am from Utah. Mm. I love that she's sticking with Disney. She has come such a long yes. way from that Disney's high school musical, the musical, the musical, the musical. <laughs> Like, really, this is massive for her. Absolutely. And it's wild to think of her in that role compared to now, and she's named our Billboard 2022 Woman of the Year. Wow. Yeah, and, you know, that's just one of many accolades. She also topped Billboard's year-end 2021 Top Artists Female Chart as well as our Top New Artist Chart. Wow. Okay, so wh which one is your favorite sour song? I really love Brutal. I love an aggressive song. Yeah, and I'm going to say good for you because she's, like, sticking it to you, mm -hmm. and that's just the attitude I love right now. Exactly. <laughs> If you want our take on the rise of Olivia Rodrigo, check out Billboard Explains How Olivia Rodrigo's Driver's License Became a Record-Breaking Hit at Billboard.com. There's no doubt TikTok is driving music streams these days, so which song from five years ago has sparked the latest trend? Here's Chelsea with the Daily Social Rundown. If you've been on TikTok lately, you've definitely seen this trend. Major bag alert. DJ Khaled and Migos' 2017 track Major Bag Alert has been making its rounds on the social media app and is giving major key energy, which according to Khaled is the most essential kind. Major key alert. It's allowing creators to brag about moments where they've either gained money, majorly splurged on something, or are hustling to grow their bank account. And some of our favorite examples so far include this girl who shockingly made a half-court shot and won $10,000, and this user whose car got accidentally swiped by a university bus but gained her free tuition. As of today, the track has been used in over 220,000 videos. So what are you waiting for? Go get your brag on. For your daily social rundown, I'm Chelsea Briggs. Lizzo's previously announced reality competition show, Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls, finally has a release date and a trailer. Check it out. What's up, y'all? It's Lizzo. I'm looking for dancers to join me on my tour. Girls that look like me don't get representation. Yeah. 
Lizzo. We love Lizzo, the executive producer. And I have to say, I love that like Rihanna has done with Fenty, she's really pushing back against these white, skinny, Eurocentric beauty standards. Exactly. And not just doing that, but allowing everyone to see how she's doing it. She's inviting people into this journey. So this will follow 10 hopefuls as they move into the big girl's house and <laughs> compete against one another to make it to eventually join Lizzo on her world tour. Yeah. Yeah, I am so excited for this. I feel like everyone grew up with the dream of being a backup dancer, and now we kind of get to see how that's possible. Girl, the Honey DVD bonus features, I was hitting it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So we don't have to wait too long. This will drop on Amazon Prime on March 25th. And SZA, I hear, is making a guest appearance. Yes, and I'm very curious to see what that means, whether guest choreographer, guest judge, TBD on that. Well, I'm a sucker for a reality competition show. I love the drama, the triumphs. I'm definitely going to be watching. Same here. Ever since her fiery Super Bowl 2022 performance last week, Mary J. Blige has been busy topping the charts and making appearances to promote her new album, even addressing rumors of a potential tour with her fellow halftime performers. Lindsay, break the news. Is this happening? I mean, Mary said, I would love to, absolutely. But then she also kind of affirmed what a lot of us were saying, which was like, do you have the stamina? Because the Super Bowl performance was a tight few minutes. Everyone did their thing and got out. So she went on to say that there are currently no plans for this to happen. And her quote was that, that was just two songs. Imagine if I had a two hour set. And then of course <laughs> we remember her falling to her back during No More Drama. She was yeah, tired. She was done. She was tired. No More Drama. Which reminds me, do you remember music videos? I remember music. I videos. remember watching No More Drama on TV as like a kid. Yes. So nostalgic. So nostalgic. So nostalgic. And then that moment was turned into a meme, which I really resonated with because everyone was showing the clip saying, me on Monday trying to go to work after the Super Bowl. Oh my God. Speaking of memes, Tyler Perry, he took Medea's face and put it on Mary J. Blige's body yes. in that blingy outfit. Hilarious. This is a classic Tyler move. Yes. He captioned it, Medea J. Blige and then sort of encaptured the character throughout the rest of the caption, saying that I was performing in the parking lot because I think they was jealous. I had this outfit first, and they made Mary's with the little fabric that they had left. He is so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> in other Mary J news, the queen of hip hop soul returns to the upper reaches of Billboard's R&B hip hop airplay chart. She is back. She's back in a big way. So her latest single, Good Morning Gorgeous, breaks into the top 10, and that's sort of monumental because she now has 30 top 10 hits, which is allowing her to tie with Beyonce for the second most among women. Ugh, I don't I don't think Beyonce minds <laughs> though because she's an icon. No, that is great company to be in for sure. Oh, goodness. Next up, Mary's performing at the 2022 NAACP Image Awards on Saturday, February 26th. That's all we've got for you. Lindsay, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I love it. Have a great weekend. You too. A long weekend. Yes, true. Even yeah. better. <laughs> we'll see y'all back here on Tuesday. For Billboard News, I'm Jordan Rowling.